Oftentimes, in life, the answers to some of life's greatest secrets are hiding in plain sight. And if you're a guy, you already know that many of the questions that we have revolve around girls. These are things like, what do they really want in a guy? And why do they do the things that they do? As you begin to uncover the answers to these questions, your understanding of girls will grow and you will gain the wisdom needed to handle not just girls, but many aspects of life. One of the best relationship experts out there, Corey Wayne, couldn't have conjured up a better analogy. And it goes something like this. Think about the two most popular pets on the planet, the cat and the dog. When you're about to leave, the dog can hardly contain his disappointment. In fact, you can see his sadness in every aspect of his body language, just begging you to stay. It doesn't matter what happens in life. The dog or man's best friend will always love you unconditionally, and he will prove this to you in everything that he does. Most dogs will even approach complete strangers and act as if they've known them for years. More importantly, the dog or man's best friend will take commands from almost anyone that he views as a pack leader. On the flip side, we have the cat who doesn't exactly hold the title of man's best friend. Think about the last cat that you interacted with. One of the best ways to understand girls is to think of them like cats. The typical cat will come and go whenever she feels like it. <clears throat> and if you try to control the cat and keep it confined to a bedroom, you will have a steep price to pay. You see, many of the answers to the greatest questions that guys have about girls can be understood simply by understanding the cat. No matter what age you are or what age a girl is, most girls at a primal level behave just like cats. Throughout your life, you'll probably witness several girls come and go. As guys, we naturally want to control things, but this is the exact opposite of what you should do. Like cats, girls will come and go throughout your life, and if you try too hard to make them stay with you or around you, you will, in fact, accomplish exactly what you're trying to prevent, which will cause them to leave. At the core, a girl will do what she wants, when she wants, with whoever she wants, and that's just the way that girls work. Think about this. The last time you tried to call a cat to you, what did it do? It either came over and started rubbing against you, or it didn't. Girls are the same way. You can call them over to you, or try to get them to do something. But like the cat, they will only come if they want to. You simply can't make them. In fact, the last time that I tried to call my sister's cat to me, it just sat there and gave me a look like, who are you and what are you doing in my house? Like girls, most cats are naturally fickle creatures. And if they don't know you well, their natural instinct is to run and hide when first meeting you. Most cats will sit in a back bedroom and watch you very carefully before approaching you. Girls usually do the same. A key takeaway here is that like the cat, girls are very selective in terms of who they will give their affection to, and they will usually show almost no interest in you at the start. Think about what happens when the cat runs out of the house. If you chase after it to bring it back into the house, it will only run further away. In a previous video, I said to never chase girls and instead make girls chase you. Like the cat, girls want to chase you, but most guys, for whatever reason, make the mistake of chasing the girl. Like the cat, Many girls will even give off signals to tempt you into chasing them, but in most cases it is usually a test, and if you pursue her, you will most likely look needy and you will probably fail the test. As long as a girl has a high level of attraction for you, she will come back to you as long as you don't chase her. Cats are the same way. If a cat comes up to you and shows you affection, it is because she likes you. Corey Wayne couldn't have said it better when he said that. You have to be patient and let the girl come to you. Think about the cat again. If you move suddenly or too aggressively to pet it, its natural instinct is to flee or run away. Try to pick it up and make it show you affection, and once again, the cat will flee. Like girls, cats will let you know when you can touch or pet them. A few wrong moves and the cat will run away. In previous videos, I talk about the frame, which is basically a state of mind. Throughout your time on this planet, girls will do all sorts of things, usually subconsciously, to try to break your frame or as Corey Wayne says, to move you off of your center. To do better with girls, you have to stop caring about the outcome. And paradoxically, to get the girl, you have to treat her as if you don't like her. Due to the way that they are programmed, girls are subconsciously drawn to the guys who seem the least interested in them. Logically, it makes no sense, but it's just the way that it works. Many of the questions that you have about girls, why they act the way they do, and how to attract them, can be understood simply by understanding the cat. Oftentimes, life's greatest secrets are hidden in plain sight. And with that said, until next time, thanks for watching.
And if you're into business or making money, check out my second channel, Business Secrets. The link is in the description. And also be sure to check out Corey Wayne's book, How to Be a 3% Man.